Hello everyone, this is Manoj. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is another part of our React Redux series. So in this video, we will create our component. So let's go to Visual Studio Code. So, so far we have created our actions, we have created our reducers and also we have created the store. So now we will work on the component. So in the components folder, let's create a file. Let's say add product.js. Oops. Let me rename it dot js. I put a comma. So now let's close all others. So first import react from react and we will also use the actions. So add product from our actions and then we will use the bootstrap form so let's import form from react bootstrap form we will also use the button so import button from react bootstrap slash button now let's create the component so const add product oops and then so let's return Inside this, we will use form. Let's give a class name MV3. And inside this, we will use form dot group. Call this class name MV3. And Control ID is product name. Well, let's say TXT product name. So inside this, now we will use form table. The table should be product name, and then we will use text field so form dot control type should be text and placeholder Enter product name and name should be let's copy the same thing copy paste And finally, after this form group, let's add a button. So, button and give it a variant name primary and type should be submit. Let's give a caption submit. So, we are done with our render part so finally export default add product let's save this and now go to our app.js and let's import add product from add product and remove this header part because we don't need this 
So now we also need to add this bootstrap style in our app.js. So add this, save this. Let's compile it. Now go back to browser. So you can see, we can see our form. Perfect. So now go back to Visual Studio Code in add product.js. So now we need to define our on submit event. So on this form, let's declare the on submit event. So on submit and on, we need to declare a event handler for this. So let's create a event handler. Let's say const handle submit will take a parameter is event inside this first event dot event default and the second one is let's alert first so alert props dot not props event dot target dot the input name or value let's save this and copy this and inside this on submit let's pass this so we have specified our on submit event handler method and we are using this handle submit so let's save this now go back to browser and just try to add any name click on submit you can see a name is coming so let's again test perfect so this is coming so now now we need to connect this particular component with our store so first we need to import connect method so connect from react redux and now here we also need to create a map state to props and this will take state and inside this let's give a name let's say we need to get the data in products so let's give a name products and pass it state so whatever is there in the state it will assign to this particular property name so this is up to you you can use any meaningful name a part of this product so for me i'm using product so now here first connect the first parameter it will take the map state to props and second parameter it will take the component name save this so what we have done basically if you need to access to a state so you need to use this map state to props so it will take the data from the state and then you need to use connect method to connect your component with the state all right now go to your handle submit so let me comment this alert and then we use props dot dispatch now we need to dispatch a action all right so props dot dispatch 
and this will take our actions so what is our action in this particular component add product so copy this and, and inside this add product what we need to pass basically the value so copy this one and paste it over here so what we have done here we are taking the input from this particular text field and we are passing this to this action and we are dispatching this action to the state so this action will go to our reducer and then reducer will put or commute with the store so we are done let's also make a text field empty once it put the value in the store let's save this now and also refresh it let's try to add let's say one two three submit and go to developer tools and to the redux tab and in the state if you expand the state so you can see we have successfully added one item with the name one two three and the id and let me give another value let's say test click on submit so again test is coming so perfect so we are able to add data in the state perfect now go back to the studio code so so far what we have done we have simply created a add product component and inside this we have created our render part and then we used a connect method of react redux to connect our component with the state and we are using map state to props and we are simply dispatching an action which is add product in our case and the value from this particular text field so this is we have done so far so this is about today's video in the next part we will use these data and render on a table all right so i hope you like the video if you did so hit the like button share comment and if you need any kind of help you can connect me on instagram my instagram handle is open programmer you can also find this in channel description so i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care bye bye